With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. The question says, a boy throws n balls per second at regular time intervals when the first ball reaches the maximum height he throws the second one vertically up the maximum height reached by each ball is so from the question it is given that a boy throws n balls per second so the boy throws n balls in 1 second n balls in 1 second so the time taken for one ball time gap between two successive throws time taken between two successive throws so time taken between two successive throw becomes 1 by n second so one ball one ball n comes to right hand side so we get one ball throws in 1 by n second 1 by n second so what is here asking is the maximum height reached by the ball so maximum height maximum height the formula for maximum height is u square by 2g so maximum height maximum height i am taking as h max equal to u square by 2g u square by 2g here we don't know about the initial speed so we have to find the initial speed by using kinematic equation of motion so initially the ball is throws initially the ball is throws with the speed u at n balls per second n balls per second initially throw at the regular interval it reaches the maximum height certain time interval the ball will reach at this maximum height we have to find this maximum height so the ball per second at regular interval the boy will throw at regular interval of time so we have to find the initial velocity first here the ball reaches at maximum height the final velocity of the ball will become zero v equal to zero because at this stage the ball is at rest so the final velocity becomes zero and also the acceleration of the ball against the direction of acceleration due to gravity so the acceleration is num a equal to negative acceleration becomes negative so the velocity v equal to u minus gt u minus gt here the final velocity becomes zero because at maximum height the final velocity becomes zero so the equation will becomes u equal to gt and also we have 
time taken between two successive throws that is t and we have t is 1 by n so the initial velocity u becomes u becomes u equal to u equal to g by n because the value of t is n so maximum height becomes so h max equal to h max equal to h max equal to u square by 2g so u square in the value of u square u equal to gt up so u square becomes g square t square so g square by n square into 2g into 2g so here g and g gets cancelled so the remaining term h max becomes h max equal to g by 2n square 2n square this is in the option 2 this is the maximum height so the answer is g equal to h equal to g divided by 2n square this is in the option 2 g by 2n square option b is the correct answer so the ball is n balls are thrown per second at regular time interval the maximum height reached by the ball is g by 2n square this is the correct answer thank you and hope it helps for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today